What'd you do, print your Bible? No, this is a who's who. Who's who? What's that? The Great American Cast Register. I'll tell you what we'll do, Lil. We'll both close our eyes, then I'll open the book, and you pick out the name of our Santa Claus. Sounds goofy to me, but okay. <laughs> Endicott. Tyson, Schuyler, Endicott. Well, Lil, you certainly picked good ones. Say, I'm bursting with curiosity. What racket are you up to now? Would you like a lot of money? Oh, quick, kid. This hotel manager is yelling for the dough, and I have to call bill collectors out of my hair every morning. Got some stolen? What do you suppose I'm doing? But I can't stall that lawyer who beat that blackmail case for you. Don't worry, baby. When I dope this out, we'll pay the bills and have enough for a trip to Havana. Havana? Sure. We'll see the ponies run. Moonlight, palms, flowers, romance, and... Bacardi cocktails. Oh, boy. Why do you pull it away? Right now. Try and get your baggage out of here and meet me in the lobby of the Corn Exchange building at noon. So long. Oh, Joe, wait a moment. What is it? You forgot to give me a kiss. I wouldn't waste too much time on him. Doesn't look like money to me. I quite agree with you, Mr. Willis. Mm. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I be of any help? Oh, yes. Uh, I'd like to look at something in M. A ring, a bracelet, or, or a pendant. Nothing expensive. My employer, Mr. Endicott, Mr. Tyson Endicott, wishes to make uh, a trifling gift to a young uh, woman acquaintance of his and ask me to make a selection for him. Uh, just a moment, please. Uh, pardon me. Mr. Willis. With Tyson Endicott's secretary. You're in for a marvelous sale. Mr. Endicott always buys expensive jewelry for his women friends. Watch me. Here we are. This is a marvelous creation. Exquisite workmanship and a wonderful value at 20,000. I'm afraid that's too expensive. You see, Mr. Endicott stressed it was to be just a trifling gift. Say, $10,000 at the outside. Oh, I understand perfectly. Will you give me the Cabuchon Emerald pendant from the window? Yes, Mr. Willis. Thank you. size and color of the stone. That is a magnificent value at 10,500. This would be my selection. A trifle over Mr. Endicott's limit, but suppose you send it over to his office this afternoon on approval. You know the address, uh, Corn Exchange Building. Oh, yes. And have it there promptly at noon, please. He's leaving early. I will attend to everything. Thank you. Very helpful. Oh, you really think so? Most salesmen insist on showing everything in the shop. Care to give me your card? I'll see that Mr. Endicott gets it. Bring it to his attention. Might do some good, you know. Future sales. Uh, Mr. Uh, Willis. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Not at all. It's been a great pleasure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Deliver this to Mr. Endicott's office in the Corn Exchange building at once. Yes, Mr. Willis.
George Company, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The beams that you ship to the state building seem to be just the shape that I have always wanted. I am particularly pleased with the set of the joints. And the texture is superb. I'm inclined to use these in my experimental construction plan. And we'll let you know later if they give satisfaction. Yours very truly. Rita, can't we be friends? Can't we friends? Well, I don't exactly mean friends. That occurred to me, too. The parcel from Chrysler's for Mr. Renly, sir. Miss McIntyre. Package for Mr. Endicott. Thank you. Another expensive present for one of his lady friends, I suppose. Listen, he changes his women like other men change their neckties. You said it. Come in. Package for you, sir, from Chrysler. Chrysler? I never ordered anything from Chrysler. That man was your character going out? Yes. Now for the big words, baby. You phone up, I'm on my way. And when I come down, Ten thousand bucks worth of emeralds will be in my pocket, as sure as my name is Joe Norton. Okay, big boy. Do your stuff. Are you Mr. Willis? Yes. I've come for the package. There's been a mistake. Mr. Ennicott never makes a mistake. He's keeping the pendant. But I tell you, there is a mistake. He can't keep it. Oh, can't he? Okay, sister, I take my hat off to you. Your racket beats mine a mile. 
cheerio.